Oh, she's going to be mad. Oh, she's pissed. Oh, she's so angry. She's She's got an extra layer of Vaseline on the screen. Her reaction mm. to seeing the news, how it developed Brutal. over the course of the what day, could happen day yesterday and get your reaction to that. Uh, Carrie, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Brian. It's just, and, um, I really think it was one of the darkest days in our country's history. The darkest days. These are the dark days. History, when you, when you think about. I am thinking about it. Let me think about it again. Okay, I thought about it. This government created by we the people. That's right. We little people. They were, the, the founding fathers were this big. And we have been watching. And we, the we people. Watching it turn on we the people. Oh no, it's we, well, they the people. I mean, obviously, we don't live at a fucking golf club. And culminating with this egregious, outrageous mm. raid. Yes, the, yeah, not culminating with uh, January 6th as an attack on our fucking system of government. No, just a, a simple serving of a subpoena or a, a, a search warrant on a building where, the, where this dude isn't even supposed to live. On our president's home. This has been a witch hunt on President mm. Trump since before day one. Which hunt is this? I, I mean, there's a lot of them going around. I don't know which one. Before he took office, they've been mm -hmm. trying to bring this man down. I don't know that there's anyone in American history. Little did they know all they had to do was wait and he would do it his fucking self. History more persecuted than Donald J. Trump. He um, yeah, fuck that Jesus, dude. I mean, really? He said that in his speech at CPAC. And uh, I lapped it right up. Honestly, I was like a kitten with a saucer of milk. I mean, Abe Lincoln who? And I agree with him 100%. Because that's the only degree that I ever agree is 100%. If we allow this to happen, if we continue to allow this to happen, we will cease to have a country. Um, what, uh, allow judges to sign off on warrants and the FBI to carry them out and uh, raids, uh, and we use that in air quotes, uh, being peacefully carried out in our country, that's the problem. And and I think that's why it's so important that these states remember where- These states remember to follow us on our social media accounts. And and we're gonna, in six minutes, we've got something coming up. The power is the power- Program alert, broadcast is ending on these things. You can't watch them. You, can't, you gotta hang up because we're, we're gonna get kicked off. in the states. And we need to send a very big message to the federal government that we're- Totally. We're not gonna take this anymore. No, we're not gonna take it. Um, and just as I've been using uh, the uh, Twisted Sister song, even though uh, Dee Snyder's told me to go fuck myself. I, I said in my statement, we need to fire the federal government and remind... Fire the federal government. I mean, that's, that's basically what Putin would want. ...them that, that the states are sovereign and we, the people, are the ones in charge oh, of this oh, government. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, DeSantis had to sign off on this raid. And, Carrie, what I'm seeing on social media is that a lot of people are angry that... Mm. The DOJ, the FBI, oh. have turned a blind eye at all the previous accusations that were, you know, that former, yeah. you know, Hillary. Yeah, yeah, they've been doing the thing and they, I mean, they had a two year long investigation after the Comey statement and it turned out to be worth fuck all. And they eventually looked at all the emails and they're apparently they did serve pigs in, in blankets at uh, Chelsea's wedding. Clinton, a former candidate for president, right. you know, the, the laptop from Hill, the, the connections that Joe. Um, uh, I, I, I will defer to you. Both of you have been to hell, um, but uh, there is no Hunter Biden laptop. Biden administration, Hunter Biden, they had no follow up on that, but yet they're going to America. How are they supposed to follow up on something when Rudy Giuliani fucked the entire thing into a cocked hat? A lago to look for something, a needle in a haystack, if you will, on anything. 15 boxes of needles. Uh, apparently the hay had already been eaten. That they can indict him on to prevent him from running because guess what? Those failed policies in the Biden administration mm -hmm. is the reason why his approval numbers are so low. Uh, no, largely it was gas uh, that was doing it. It's standard thing for a president, but you guys were hoping that it would, that would stick around. It's not going to. This is a tactic to remove mm -hmm. him from the, the public eye and from the political... From the public eye? No, I, well, I mean... What, didn't Charles Manson put out an album in prison? Uh, movement of him returning to the White House. I have a I have a slight smile on my face because they've been trying to. But that's that's because you always pretend to have a slight smile on your face. Bring him down mm. since before he even won, and he's too powerful. He's and then too again after he lost, really badly. loved by the American people. He's beloved. 
for them to accomplish that. They thought in that stolen election in 2020 that Oops. that would be the end of Donald J. Trump. He would just, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty embarrassing. You're president of the United States and, and this guy named Sleepy Joe manages to steal the election from you. I mean, you couldn't. It's it, you. I mean, I, imagine being Trump in that situation. You bought what? millions of votes and you've planted them all over the country. You've got. Uh, you know, what? Yeah. Republicans in different states, especially Arizona, Wisconsin and others trying to help you get elected by what? Yeah. By planting a lot of those votes for you. And you just you just you tried. You thought you could do it on the cheap. They told you what? all you needed was two million more votes. So you ponied up the dough. You paid for two million more votes and it wasn't what? enough. Yeah, it's true. I'm just saying that's the. And it's got to it's got to suck. And then Sleepy Joe kicks your ass. That's got to hurt. Walk away and, and go back to his private life. And he still has a following. And what they did. Yes, they I wouldn't call it a following. I'd call it a cult. But it was create an even bigger following. For um, well, his uh, then why the crowd's been shrinking for President Trump, because American people recognize that he loves America. Um, no, I don't I don't see that at all. I, I would need a uh, citation needed. And his following is growing. And I think with what mm. happened at Mar-a-Lago with these FBI agents, I don't know how they live with themselves. They, they probably can't. I mean, it's devastating. They probably just, I'm sure none of them went home, had a hot meal, went, what a weird day, and then went back to doing their next, serving a search warrant on a federal level in a dangerous situation. How they could even, if, if I were told to do that and I was an FBI agent, I would walk off the job. Well, that's because you don't give a shit about your oath to the United States, you believe you've taken an oath to Donald Trump. I would turn over my badge and say, I'm not interested in being- Yeah, like an 80s cop movie. ...part of this anymore. And we need more people to stand up and walk away from it. Well, that, by, by the way, all those FBI agents did stand up. They got out of the cars, they stood up out of the cars and they went in and got some shit. And they probably sat down a couple times while they were in there and then they stood up again. ...job that's telling them to do something that's unconstitutional it's not. Or that's immoral. Or it's not. That's unethical. It's not. Yeah, they were. They're, they're covered on all three of those. They're fine. When are more Americans going to start standing up to? Well, I, I don't know. I, I he's as popular as he's going to get. That's Carrie. I I don't know how to explain this to you, but uh, there just aren't any more Americans. There's only 340 million of us, and we can only cheer for the man so much. We're gonna have to make more Trump babies. To this and. And to that, I say, after you. Say, no, I will not take part in that. I will not. I am Shardicus. You can have my paycheck. You can have my benefits. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. What a dumb fucking idea. You can have my benefits and my paycheck. I refuse to carry out a lawfully uh, executed search warrant, which is my job because I love this guy more than the laws of our country. What? And we need more people to do I will that. not pay a lot for this muffler. This is a spicy meatball. Do that. But I think it's interesting that President Trump is not going away. I think he's going to Oh, he's going away. Run again. No, he's not. He's created uh, in an a, a great video. We watched it. It was fabulous. Empowered group of people who are mm -hmm. ready to step into the mix and help take this country back, including what I call a legacy of leaders who are- Legacy of leaders. LOL. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. That was a mistake. I didn't think of it. Uh, that I, I fucked up. That's, they, we call them people like myself who are LOL candidates. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Um, that the LOL, the the legacy of leaders of leadership leaders are L, where the LOL candidate. That, <laughs> it's not. I don't know what is funny. You folks need to stop doing that. But um, the the LOL candidates at, that I. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing that. Magoo. Stepping forward and running for office, myself included. Mm. I was inspired by President Trump. Uh huh. We can, yeah. Basically, she was one of the people who watched him and went, I can do that. So they. Can who can't lie like an asshole and turn a TV career into a, um, into a bullshit political movement? Can't get rid of him. They can't get rid of the Make America First movement. Make America First movement? 
Mathem? Are the are are all the LOL candidates doing Mathem as well? Pardon me, Mathem. Because there's too many Americans who love mm. this country and are willing to fight to save this republic. Yeah, the the problem you have is they're not willing to vote. So Carrie Lake joining us live on the mm. program to talk about the FBI raid there down in mm. Mar-a-Lago. Now, Carrie, I've noticed on social media yeah. a lot of Republicans, both people. My fam, my foo foo, my goo, my goo. People that might have not have been in, might have not have. in the Trump camp from day one are now defending the president. And because they're afraid that he has shit on them. And, and really accusing this government of having some type of banana republic. Yeah, it's because they have a limited cultural reference and they pick the ones that are the most grotesque. By the way, uh, I don't need any more of uh, her. 